sorry. This I meant to I meant to swap to this one. I forgot that my other fucking uh thing doesn't have a what's it called? It doesn't have a audio capture, so I couldn't actually speak in there. Uh I will be totally honest with you. I'm kind of stalling for time right now. Uh I I'm I'm stalling just a little bit. Uh two of the ways I plan to start session, two of the people are currently either AFK or not here, so I'm just trying to stall for time to give them a minute to do what they need to do and then come back because, you know, I'm a good DM like that. I'm not just going to start and then have the session, you know, to start off weird because, well, I mean, you know, the session starts off weird, I get stuck, everybody else gets stuck. It's just, it's just not fun for anybody, so I'm going to give, you know, both of them a minute, uh, you know, probably like a literal minute, I will be honest, because there's only so long that I can actually sit here and stall, um, so yeah, how's your day going, how's it going, is it going well, is it going great, how are you doing, chat, how are we, how are we doing, are we having a good day today, or does today suck ass, sorry for people watching on the VOD, I know that was probably unbearable to sit through, Yo. Hey. Hey, hi. bitch. What? What do you mean, bitch? That's so mean. That's so mean. Why would you say that to me? Sometimes you just gotta be a bitch. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I actually need to set up for something else. Uh, you, you, you won't have to worry about what this is just yet. Uh, I'm just going to set up a token here for something later. Uh, well, hi. Hello, everyone. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm at a little bit of an impasse here because both of the ways I plan to start session today, uh, both the people, I should say, that I meant There's to... jelly in here. Sorry. <laughs> There's jelly in my milk. Ew. Just start with June. Uh, we have a completely different way that I plan to introduce June. So, I think just to stall for even just a little bit more time. Hold on, where's the fucking music? I I, I didn't even put on any music. Hold on. Was Faye going to a different shop? I can't remember. Was it? No. No, uh, I got my Calorum thing. Or whatever the I got was. what Calorus, I needed. Calorus went into the specific store last time. And oh, that's Cedar's where we not were. here. Ice isn't here. I'm going to get dinner. Your options are Duster or Fuck. June. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Well, what I was going to start with was a recap of what happened last what time. What nuts did I get? Cashews. You got a... Cool. Okay, so I'll actually recap the whole session then real quick. So the group of criminals, the group of funny criminals who all uh, failed a robbery previously, uh, ran back into their hideout after being chased by the town guards of Dracobold. When they made it back to their little hideout, there was a golden dragonborn waiting for them inside there. Piss a man. one No, my name I'm not fucking related to piss in the slightest, please. Jack Goldentooth. Jack Goldentooth uh proposed a entire heist to this group. He proposed that tomorrow night or even no, not tomorrow night, tonight they break into the Draco Bold Museum and steal just about anything they can get their fucking hands on. Just really, really anything, you know, just fucking butterflies and shit. I think he he dropped a mention of them. Gemstones, bones, you like bones? We can steal bones. Look at the map. Look, hold on. Look at the, look at the map. You get Boner. bones in the archaeology exhibit. Anyway, um. Jack proposed them with this, uh, with this, you know, wonderful little, uh, heist and sent, and basically, you know, tried to formulate a plan. Uh, I can't remember the plan we settled on. I think he was just like, here's some money. Um, we're gonna need things for this heist. Go, go buy stuff. And he gave the party, I believe it was five platinum total. Was it five? I can't remember. I wasn't doing money. <laughs> I think it was five because it was a group of four of you, and two of the platinum went to fair. Two of them went to someone else. I, I don't remember the entire I, details of it. One went to Zhao. One went to fair. Yeah, one went to Zhao. Hi, Cedar. We'll we'll start in just a second then. Hey, um, and 
the, the group split off. They went to go shopping. They went to go have a delightful time. Zhao bought some uh, explosives, last I remember, and some bread. Lovely bread. You know, really great bread that they just stuck dynamite right. into, but that's okay. Um, Calaris bought a bunch of climbing equipment. I sure. can't remember specifics. I just remember it was climbing equipment. And... Oh, that was in the 25th. I was like, why is Ice leaving and joining on his phone? But then I was like, no, that's the 25th in the game time VC. And from there, uh, the group, Zhao, Duster, and Fair, I think Fair went back to the park. I can't remember if they wanted to. Started to, to go, it. but timing-wise, uh, I think Zhao and Duster would have met before. Okay, so Fair is starting to go there. Zhao and Duster would have met in the park first off before Fair even gets there. And Calaris went back to the specific store. Uh, the specific store yeah. is, you know, it's just a little out there, run by this uh, drow elf. Calaris, I don't think you step... You didn't step in here before... I have not. Uh, yeah, you haven't stepped in here before this point. Let me just... Um, fucking, that's the wrong... Give give me the give me the music. Thank you. Uh, right, where was I? Right, right here. As you step into the specific store in this cold cave town, you see this drow elf working behind the counter. There's not much to the specific store, um, at least from where you're standing. It seems to just be this small wooden room with enough space for you to stand in, and this counter with the drow elf sitting behind it just kind of standing there. There's not any shelves in the specific store. Nothing seems to be on display. Just a counter with a guy behind it. That's what you see as you walk. That's great. What do you do? Um, I forgot how much money I had. I gotta do math again. I believe you spent like 90 gold. I, I think you also... I also typed I had 200, so just to make sure. You bought, okay, judging by what I typed, you bought 90 foot of rope, one grappling hook attachment, five pickaxes, and three pairs of gloves. The grappling hook was five gold. But I did knock the price down. You did knock the price down. You got half off on the rope. So, let's see. 45 plus grappling hook, which was five. Each one of the pickaxes is 15. 15 times. Okay, hold on. I can do this math. I can do this math. 45. Another 45 for the pickaxes. Uh, and then... No, that's the gloves, which were 15. 15 times 5 is 75. You spent 170 gold at the, um... At the... At the... The Forge store. I can't remember exactly what I called I it. I don't even think that was... I do not remember that... Beat that much. The Lunkers Plus is what I think I, I call wish, it. I wish, I wish, I wish I wrote down how much I had left. Oh, so only there was a vod. Give me a bit. Double. Yeah. Can you look? Yeah. Because uh, I feel like it was not at all that much. I would look. I, I, yeah. No. I do. I do also agree with you. I think it was all. Yeah, I still had like like a good chunk. Because I got like a 26 on my, deception, on my persuasion. Yeah, you persuaded him. I could have sworn you persuaded him to give you like a discount on the rope. That was what I distinctly remember, but... I, I think... Yeah, I think that was a general thing, but then I was like... I could have sworn I it was half off. I paid for I persuaded him to knock it even lower. I don't think so. I, I think it just stayed at half off and then you left. Well, we'll see. Yeah, well, this also gives us good time to stop. There's no way I would be rocking up out with 30. I thought you... How much do you remember leaving with? I left with, like, a little less than half, but not, like, 30 gold left. You had 200 platinum when you went in, right? Not 200, 200, not 200, 200 gold. Two that was where my brain two was going. You mean two platinum? Two platinum, yes. Because Jack gave yeah. you all five total. Yeah. I could have sworn. I'm back. Hi, we, we've... Hi, we're trying to figure out how much money I have left. 
Yeah, I I can't exactly remember. I know you I got. I wish I wrote it down. I know you have half off on the. Uh, you got half off on the rope. Rope, yeah. That's what I distinctly remember. Pin is looking and at I it think now. he's looking at it now because yeah. he is. Pin is deafened. Huh. <sighs> Um, so Panda's probably looked at it now, so we'll get a better idea. And I know it was a good chunk. You, I don't know. I still, I know. I, I still know I have a good chunk. I'm doing great. If if Panda can't figure it out, this number just came to my head for whatever I, reason. If Panda can't figure it out, we'll just say 110. You left with 110. Yeah. Because I, I don't, I don't we'll think you we'll left with so less than 100. Bit. I don't think I did either. I got a pretty good cheap. I had a pretty cheap discount. Yeah, yeah I, d I feel like you left with at least a And why did I buy such a mismatched amount of pickaxes? Because I think that was all you could afford. You were going crazy over pick pickaxes, and they were like, you don't need this many. Yeah, he took one away, and there was oh. like four left, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember that now. He was like, you realize these need to work in pairs, right? And you were like, oh, and... Then he and took then it was like back. it's better. Yeah, just then, get so it that away. knocks down ten. It was better just knocked to what? that down to four. That Fair. makes more sense because I was talking. No, don't worry. Shut up, Zombie. It's so easy. Yeah, because oh. I was I was thinking about it strategically in the terms of like the two the two with not so good. Yeah, the two that wouldn't um, be able to climb scores the could wear pickaxes. Yeah. And the other two can just wear the gloves. Or you'd think they would be the ones you'd want to give those to the ones with the better scores, because the people with less of a deck score might just have an easier time going up with the rope. I could be wrong though. Yeah, but that that that's that doesn't that doesn't math to me. Yeah, I mean we I We don't need to get every climb up there, we just need to get like one person solidly up there at least. Oh yeah. To but set up the grab for everybody. Hook, yeah. I'm an I'm an over expector. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's it's it pays to be prepared. Literally, this is a heist. Pays to be something. One fifty total. You, it Holy cost one fifty. You, you spent one fifty total. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds very. I mean, you still have a good yeah, fifty gold. Right. You still have a good fifty gold, so you could probably buy something. I return. Now. Thank you, Panda. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, helpful. I'm like, there's no way it's sturdy. We were we were all debating over it, and I was about to give Cedar way too much gold that he did not have. <laughs> right. I had to go over double on what that was. So. You know what? Don't. So then, going back to where we were, you enter the specific store, counter, drow elf, not really much else in the room. Do you say anything to him as he does not address Ooh, you? Dude. Um. Uh, how does the specific store look upon walking in again? Um, it is quite literally just a wooden room, barely any decoration. It's very small. It's about just big enough so that there is a single step between you and the counter, and, you know, the guy behind the counter. There's no shelves in there, no, like, posters on the wall to promote any of their products. I mean, it's so specific. Why would you even, why would you even advertise? Uh, and the only other person in there is the drow elf behind the counter. Um, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so obviously there's nothing on anywhere, so do I just tell you what I'm looking yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, that's how, the, that's how this place works. You tell me what you want. You know, you, you gotta get real specific down to it. Uh, you know, we, we carried lots of things. Uh, it's, a guy came in here and bought some bombs earlier. Uh, there's bread, building materials, uh, guns. We have guns. They're pretty expensive, though. They're not easy to make. Uh, we have, um, we got weapons. We got armor. Uh, I, I even think we sell a couple potions. There's a lot back there, though, so, you know, I don't know how our stock is um. going with that. I'm looking for something that can emit smoke. Uh, what kind of smoke? Why? Deadly smoke, poison smoke, smoke screen, smog, cough smog, like, harmless. Like smoke screen. A smoke screen. Okay, how do you want to apply this? Do you want to apply this in a large area? Do you want to apply this in a uh, enveloping someone and make it stick uh, to them? Large, large, uh, large area. Large area. How do you want to apply this through like a like a apparatus, like a blowing device through a bomb you want to throw i mean there's a lot of ways you could do that sort of thing um let's 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 go with the 
the breathing out. Uh, let's go with the apparatus. Uh, all right, yeah, smoke screen guns. I can get smoke screen guns. Do you want it in a gun? Do you want it in a sword? Do you want it in a knife? I mean, there's a lot of apparatus that you could use. But I, and this and this is very, uh, very odd. You're gonna hear me say, can I get it as a blow gun? I. Give me just a second. Uh, and you see as he turns around and opens the wall you thought was a wall, and you see behind okay. him this vast, infinite white space filled only by these several hundreds of shelves that go up into infinity, down into infinity, and, well, you're not sure if the left and right sides go to infinity, but... There's a lot of shells as you see him swipe across the air of this area like it's some kind of phone app you'd see player you would see in real life. He swipes across, he seems to stop at this S section, SM, and then he's like, oh, God, what am I doing? Is this apparatus? I need to go to, he goes down to SMA, swaps the, the shelves several times until he gets to uh, this little, this section of various little blowguns. Uh, and he looks at them up and down, and he's like, uh, you know, normally people come in here and buy blowguns for, like, you know, hunting, you poison an animal, it goes to sleep, you give it a good old stab, and then it dies. But I've never heard of a smokescreen blowgun, but, you know, this store carries lots of... Th ah! And he picks up this, um, this blowgun that has a distinct gray design to it. It's got these double gr black stripes on it, and he holds it up in front of you. This bad boy, uh, uh then give me a moment. He stares at it deadpan for a moment, and then almost as if the information of what it was just immediately hit, uh, formed in his head. Ah, this is a smoke pellet blowgun. It's pretty fast, silent, easy to use. You load these little smoke pellets in it. Almost out of nowhere, he pulls out this small little brown pellet and loads it in. And uh, if I could, uh, he, he moves his hand to the side and the wall to the right of you just seemingly pushes outward to leave an empty space. He goes and the, the pellet goes flying across into the center of this space and it creates this about five foot radius of smoke that you can't really see through. Uh, you know, these smoke pellets aren't as big as some of the other things you're gonna get, you know. It, it's kind of just small, small little thing meant for quick application. People can easily escape out of it, but if you're trying to block something you're trying to do, or maybe hide someone for a quick moment, it's not the most effective, but I mean, it works. As he explains I it, think I can work with that. the wall comes back and plants itself firmly back to where it originally was. Sorry, I know the I know the big walls really you know freak out some people who aren't. Uh, are you new here? You're definitely new here. I keep a log of everybody, and even the guy that bought bombs in here earlier. That's creepy. That's not creepy. I need to make sure people pay for my stuff. People have robbed well, me. Yeah, but God, I don't have any sort of magical eyeball that I can stick at the corner of my room and make sure that nobody gets lost in the infinite void I have back here. I mean, it's not really infinite, you know, there's a bottom, but, you know, when people reach the bottom, it's usually they're in a fine ash, you know. It's funny how physics work. People, when they typically fall, they begin to fall faster and faster and faster until they burn okay. up, okay. like something okay. so, entering the atmosphere. So, 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 oh, oh, yeah? just want the blowgun. Right, yes, of just course. The blowgun. Uh, the blowgun itself, uh, yeah, we'll go 20 gold for it. The bag of pellets, about 10. The stuff to make these things is pretty expensive. You gotta go find smoke leaf, you gotta put in an ignition. It's all a mess. It's such a... The, the, we don't really make a lot of these. This is actually, I think, the only... Uh, all right. the Grab the heist for killing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Get rid of the heist kills. <laughs> Kill the city and you're trying to do his job. Um, he places uh, the blowgun and pellets down. Uh, I was also looking for something else. Uh, yeah? What do you want? Can I get some, like, ground-up cashew powder? Uh, um, that's an odd ask. Why might I? Is for a recipe? Making a uh, yeah, my... My husband makes this really good cashew butter, and I really need oh. ground up cashews. So. Oh, okay, yeah, you don't want to do the work yourself. I get it. Cashews are hard not to crack. Uh, he turns around to the still unclosed uh, infinite void behind him and swipes upward to the C section, heads to CA, swipes over. You see, comedically, there's just a shelf full of these perfectly ripe cashews. He swipes over, and they progressively get lower in ripeness as he swipes across until he gets to these little bags. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's...
cashew powder. Uh, he places it on the counter with all your other things. That'll be about five gold. They're not really hard to get a hold of. I'm pretty sure there's a cashew tree in the park. All right, so... So, 35 total? Yeah, 35. All right, that works for me. Uh, and Callers pulls out the 50. It's like, can you give me 15 back, please? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, he takes the sack, and he's like... You realize you just gave me a sack of physical money. You can just count out... Whatever. Uh, and he takes the... Uh, Listen, I don't... <laughs> the 35 gold out, counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Getting all the way to 35 and handing you back a sack of 15 gold. You still have uh, 15 you know, gold in there. If there's, is there anything else, I mean, you know, it might not get you a lot. It um, might get you something. Is there anything you recommend? I would have to get really specific, and I don't think, you know, judging by how you've, you know, stopped me before, I don't really think you want me to, uh, you know... <laughs> I, I get let, a little. Let me be it. specific. Okay, do you yeah. have anything in mind for like a fan? Do you have anything like mind for cheap? That's for a family going on a a hiking trip, going up the mountain, not up the mountain. I mean, uh, up the hill, not the hill, the uh, cliff wall. I mean, hmm, hmm. it's been a while. Well, what since do you I've... What do you have? You know, what, what, what kind of tool are you looking for for climbing? Pitons, pickaxes, rope. Uh, I think we have a couple of hammocks that you can hang off of a repelling rope and take a nap on a mountain. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice thing. Some people like to do it on the cave walls. I think it's a little dumb. Just buy a house, you know. You got a bed on the ground. You don't really need to sleep in the air off a cliff face. Maybe that's just me, though. Um, I think I think I have everything I need, mostly. Just. Okay. Yeah, no I don't want to leave without the 15 being used for something. Um, uh, do you have any, like... Uh, what's the word? Do you have any, like, jerky? Uh, like, dried salted meat? Of what creature? You get a lot of meats. Um... I guess pork is fine? Ooh. Choice, you know, most people say beef, but I am not one to judge. Uh, and he flips through the shelves and uh, pulls out about a half a pound of the stuff, places it in front of you. Half a pound of the stuff usually costs around 15 gold if that's what you got left. I mean, all right, I that works for me then. And okay. then just hand you the hand you the 15. All right, he he pours out the rest of the 15 gold and counts it one, two, three, four, five, getting to 15 as he pockets the rest of the money. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, thank you, again. I really appreciate it. Alright, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Callers just picks up everything. He kind of puts the the little blowgun in, like, you know how, like, if you open a jacket, there's, like, those little pockets that you have? Like, there's yeah. just three little hole pockets. He just slips it in one of those and then puts the pellets on the other side of it. Uh, the, the drow elf <laughs> doesn't really take much notice to this. He just kind of he, his stare kind of reminds you of someone who hasn't slept in days, not because they haven't done that, they've done that voluntarily, but as if he can't go to sleep, and he just hasn't slept at all. Which might explain his hyperactive mannerisms. Alright, let's get this back to the cave. Uh, and Kalos just walks out, cave. heading back to the park. We're in a cave. Not that, you you don't need to... to okay, okay, I'm, ju I'm just saying, go, you're go in a cave. Job. Well, I can't exactly. How do you not want me Callers to stop? Callers just this walks room out. Is, oh, okay. <laughs> the room well, is like. Callers is walking out as he's talking. The room is like a step wide. <laughs> he can't exactly help it. <laughs> um. Do you head back yes, to you can. the? <laughs> um. Head back to the hideout by this point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, just to recap, <laughs> um, write this all down. Maybe you have purchased 90 feet of rope grappling hook, hook attachment, four pickaxes, three pairs of climbing gloves, uh, half a pound of pork jerky, food, yummy, uh, you've bought a blowgun with smoke pellets that it can fire, and is that it? I think that was it? No, ground up cashew powder. That was, that was the other one for, you know, just in case if Jack betrays us and whatnot, but... Acts up. I'm, I'm assuming. It's, I'm, if, it's if he's acting up. I just. If he's acting up, not even if he, not face, even if like he salt. betrays you. Just, just if I don't like him. French accent sucks. Um. 
it's so you're like, heading... it's like that the it's like the when people throw salt over their shoulder. Alex just has the thing uh, and just throws it over his shoulder. Throws and cashew powder. Um, so Calaris is heading back to the hideout now to meet up with everybody. Yes. All right. Um. So you make your way back to the hideout now. I. I don't know how I feel about going forward, because I thought I... <laughs> oh, you fucker. God damn it. <laughs> um... How long have I been back? Like, seven, eight minutes now? Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, probably around that. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. I thought you just weren't going to make it back. Ooh, um, British jump scare. So, we will... I, I know the two of you wanted to interact uh, before... You know, we continued on with the one shot. So, as everybody <laughs> makes their way back from the shopping trip, uh, Zhao, as you make your way back in, Duster is, uh, Duster, you were foraging for cashews last time, right? Yeah. Found, and you found the cashew tree in the park. <laughs> you just see Duster, uh, walking. Where would you be going at this point, Duster? Back to the hideout, maybe? Going to another tree to see if there's any more. <laughs> you see Duster going to another tree with a, a handful of these unripe cashews they found previously in their hands. They're not edible by any means, but they definitely sent someone who's allergic to them and anaphylactic. I don't think I'm saying that word right, but into allergy shock or whatever. Anaphylactic. Anaphylactic, thank you. Uh, and yeah, two of you have at it. Go on. I do not remember my free character voice at Me all. neither, but I'm a camper, so I can just fuck around and do anything. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. Um, I think it was something like this, kind of. Fantasy Boston. That's my, that's my phrase. Okay. Fantasy Boston. Back to the voice. Fantasy, Fantasy Boston. Yes, I fucking, I do is. not have my bearings at all. Um, fucking where are we? <laughs> I'm about. Do you want about... me to? Do you want where me to... am I? Uh, you are in the park inside Draco Bold. Draco Bold's a big cave town. Um, and the park is the only place in Draco Bold that has any kind of grass or trees at all. It's not even artificial. It's a na natural anomaly of how it even grows. You're saying it's not metal grass like no, a certain place no. we know. Shh, shh, shh. Um, <laughs> the other one. Tune in to this channel on Tuesday. Uh, okay, Normal okay. Fun. Stop advertising my <laughs> other my other streams. Well, I do advertising that. for you. That's my job. I'm supposed to do that. Anyway, yes, um, I expect my paycheck in the mail. Okay, and your hideout <laughs> is in a tree inside of the park, and you see Duster, you know, going from tree <laughs> to tree trying to find more. Uh, I'm pretty sure before cautious. you also went into where you thought Duster was, saw Calorus. No, Duster went, where is Duster? <laughs> yeah, where right. is Duster? Where is he? There. Oh, hey, yo. Duster. Uh, yeah, what's up? Are we, are we done here? We we got all, the, got all the stuff, all the things. Oh, I don't fucking... I don't cashews. Would you like some cashews? Uh, sure, yeah, why not? He's gonna, he's gonna take some cashews. And just give it cashews. <laughs> They're tasty. Right. After eating them, the zombie, are the cashews tasty? Uh, they're unripe and, like, not really even <laughs> grown into an edible state. It's like, you know when you bite into, uh, a sour grape, or a sweet grape? It's like that, mm -hmm. if, as if you were biting into ten at once. Dust up. I don't yeah. know what you did to these cashews, but... <laughs> They're fucking amazing. Exactly. I thought so too. Like, oh my god, these are so much better than like the regular yeah, cashews. Yeah, they're these, anyway, these, these are awesome. I was thinking of keeping these because I don't trust that fucking French one. Um, so uh, like, yeah, if Monsieur if we find some goldie boy, something fucking Monsieur Golden Shower, and if we see anyone who might seem suspicious, I'm gonna throw a cashew at them and see what happens. Because I have. Okay, come here, come here, come here. It's like trying to yeah, bring yeah, yeah. you over. Okay, so. I have an idea that that motherfucker is also the president. No, not president. The mayor. The mayor. Mayor. I think either he's the mayor or pretending to be it. Because. You're telling me that guy is Joseph Biden? Yeah, he's Joseph Biden. But I'm. Uh, Biden. <laughs> He has, he has, like, his scales look like he kind of works on someone who's painted gray. Some sort of, like, paint and gray. So I think 
and like he's a dragonborn he's piss colored and then and then and then the, the mayor is gray and a dragonborn so i think there's something there so you think this whole thing is a setup most likely i think that possibly they're trying to capture us by pretending the mayor kind of thing so i'm gonna just fucking throw cashews at anyone i find suspicious begs the question though if this guy is the man he knows that we're criminals doesn't he have the power to capture us already well that's the thing maybe because our last heist went wrong technically we didn't do anything wrong so maybe he's trying to either that or he's actually a fucking master criminal or some shit and he's trying to steal something but with us being the distraction i feel like the, the second one does is probably close to the truth because We've been in the business a long time. Even a failed crime is still a crime. I still think he's the mayor, though. I don't know. I just feel something about that. Maybe he's That's the man. He seemed... wants something. Because, like, remember you said about, like, oh, he can't steal his own stuff. Exactly. And I think, yeah. I think he's going to try and get the egg from us. But we're going to take the blame for it because he's the mayor. I see. I mean, he did feel like he was kind of a, you know... Well, like an uptight asshole. That's that's like your mayor type. Yeah, so. yeah. Definitely. Ma anyway, he seemed real skittish about the whole getting paint on him thing. Exactly. Maybe it's just a cover up. Maybe. Maybe he's already covered up. Can I? Can I? Maybe he is covered up. Can that's I? A maybe. Good point, can it? I butt in to just? Who are you? Can I just butt You're not meant to be listening no, no, to no. our business. I, I, just, I, just I want to attack everyone. the bodiless voice. <laughs> no. Yes, I God. Was just going to, I was just going to yes, remind God. everyone that Xiao and Fair are just covered in blue paint. Just, yeah. just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah. Fair is not covered in blue paint. Right. Fair yeah. covered him, the guy, the golden oh, guy, in blue right. paint. Yeah, God. yeah. Sorry, like, I wait, forgot no. about that again. No, Xiao good, and good Jack were covered in paint. Yeah. Yeah, so. I don't trust him. I want to kill him. I don't him. trust him neither. I want to. I want to kill him. You Just kill I him. think he's like putting himself to be away from the group and the integral role. Uh, and... Sh Shell's gonna put like both hands on Dust's shoulder, look in the eyes, like. Look, oh. pal, I'm just saying Fair's not around right now to tell you otherwise. Are we gonna kill him? Can I kill him? If you can wanna can kill I? him, pal, I think we're gonna kill him. <laughs> Dustin starts to, like, try to run towards the tree. <laughs> yeah, we, uh... We can... We can have a backup plan in mind if things go south. I wanna kill. I wanna kill. Kill, 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 kill. on the table, Duster. Don't you forget <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay, Keep it try. quiet. Keep it to yourself, though. Okay, okay, okay. Try, try, try. Alright, shouldn't we be uh, getting back to the room now? I guess so. <laughs> kill, kill. Yeah. Uh, Shell's gonna, like, take Duster and go and find terrifying. people again. Okay, is that what you wanted to talk to me about? Was that what you were looking for me? Or was it not us? Uh, yeah, that's why. Okay. <laughs> um, are, are we, are you done or is it going? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Yeah. As this is currently occurring, <laughs> duh, um, you all see that both Fair and Calorous, you both uh, were heading back to the hideout by this point. You see that they both make their way back into the park to meet up with the rest of you. Um, do you all conversate amongst each other like, before heading back in? I like to think that Zhao wasn't being, like, a word of saying, like, pi like taking them. I feel like Zhao just picked up Duster. I feel like that makes <laughs> sense. Just, like, <laughs> over the shoulder. <laughs> how, how, like, big is Duster? Duster's, uh... And Kenkus are, like, small, right? Yeah, they're small, they're and small, also, uh, they are weak. Oh, they're, like, uh, their bones are... Yeah, I made myself small size. Like I am, I am a category of small okay, in D and D yeah. terms. Uh, oh, yeah, I love small he's, characters. He's, he's rocking eighteen strength. You're getting picked up like a fucking <laughs> like dumping bag. One Amazing. hand? Are you just holding him one-handed? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like shopping bags do. You he's probably bags. he's probably like as a result getting some blue paint in his feathers and stuff. That's fine. <laughs> I'm fine okay. with that. It's okay. 
Some of the paint's probably dried on Zhao, but you know, some of it's the like, um, a little wet. It's like, um, little blue well, that probably feels on... horrible. Yeah. It's fine, probably. <laughs> the little blue marks uh, are just uh, like, uh, paint. like if members. lost, return to Zhao. That's basically what it means now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or like, you know how like farmers mark their sheep with little like spritzes of <laughs> Yeah, yeah I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. That, that's what, that's what Duster has. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Um, well, it seems like you two got to something. Yeah. Something. That's not foreboding at all. You know? Considering I bought you all, you know, an entire half pound of, you know, jerky. And also, you know, and, and Caller's, Caller's restraining a bit. You got two loaves of rye bread and then also two sticks of dynamite. Yeah, sourdough. I got two loaves of sourdough and sourdough. three sticks of dynamite. And also a yeah. <laughs> Didn't you stick the sticks of dynamite in the bread too? No. No, I, I did the... not. That was your. No, in you the almost pocket. got the bread, the dynamite bread though. You know how um, like Calors... those... Oh, sorry, can't see that. I was gonna say Calors with some restraint uh, is handing Zhao the ground up uh, powder of cashew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Xiao's gonna, like, obviously, like, retrieve, uh, the bag from Kairos, kind of, like, give it a little, like, sniff, it's like, this... <laughs> cashew batter? No, it's the powder of, like, some someone's dead grandma. Those. No, of course it's cashew powder. Oh, well, I mean, if it's someone's ashes, shit, we No, it. it's not someone's a it's cashew powder. Why do we need this again? Oh, yeah, right, the, the golden boy. Yeah, I remember now. Do you know? Yeah, I remember. Okay. What else did you manage to get on your little way? Well, I've got my... I've got everyone's climbing equipment. And Kyler's, like, kind of, like, pointing to his, his, his fucking massive pack now that's, like, covered in gear. Covered in, like, rock climbing gear. Mm, I see. Thank you very much. Uh, I've got my own jerky, and then Calaris opens that little side thing to show off the the blowgun. This might not be the most flashiest, but it, it gets the job done. I feel like this whole thing being flashy is exactly the not what we're going for, so... Well, I mean... I mean, I don't want it to be flashy. Exactly. I presume that you bought things that were... reasonable. Uh, Shell's gonna whip out these, like, two loaves of bread, just like, ta-da! Ooh, bread! <laughs> so... I don't mean to be a stickler. Where is... Where did the rest of the money go? What do you mean? Expensive bread! I tell you, that's you're gonna tell me that a hundred... You're gonna tell me that a hundred gold went to two loaves of bread? Yeah, fifty each! Top quality! Is I guess, it, I don't know. Is it, like, not meant to go to two loaves of bread? Is Bread not expensive over here. Are you trying to lie to me? <laughs> uh, Justa isn't. Like, Justa just believes in Zhao. <laughs> Zhao is like, yeah. like less so lying, more playing dumb. But I suppose yeah, he is lying. Can I? Um, can I ask no. this. <laughs> Don't say no. Don't say no. 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 Um, I'm gonna roll insight on that because Calaris knows you're not that stupid most of the time. You, you do real like Calaris knows that you at least know that bread is not going to cost a hundred gold. Can I be given the help action to Zhao by <laughs> saying yeah? <laughs> going sure, to I will say yes to that. Okay, I know my number. What's helping an advantage? Uh, yeah, advantage. Yeah. You need deception. Frisbee. Oh. Maybe what? Praise be the help action. I was fucked otherwise. That's always that help. One of my rolls was in that one. Whoa! That's one of my rolls. So what did you get? What did you get, Cedar? I got. Ironically, I got a twenty-two. Oh. Ah. Well, I rolled two naturals in the midst of my advantage. Alas, though, they were not the same number. One of my naturals was a one. One of my naturals was a twenty. Yeah. Does uh, that mean what is your well, what's your plus or minus? Uh, twenty. Or does it matter? I, Nat twenties are. You have plus four to charisma. 
Uh, no. <laughs> I have plus, plus two. I'll give plus plus two to deception. Okay. I'm like, oh wait, Jesus Christ. No, I have plus four to. You're something. hiding things. Okay, so I don't. I can't tell that you're lying to me. I'm telling the honest to god truth. <laughs> I yeah. don't. Look at sourdough. Listen. That doesn't sourdough. mean anything. It, it's I, the hardest thing. I am struggling Ow. myself to you be like, what? You forget, I don't come from a nice little place where I bought things often. I was born on the streets. You don't buy things on the streets, pal. You steal them. I found them well, in the yeah, trash. I had to I had to lie to like three different people that I had a husband, so... I, I ate my bread out of the trash. Yeah, chicks Good out. for you. <laughs> Listen, I'll... I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Please just, when we get this money or whatever, please do not make a stupid purchase like that again. Money ain't yours at that point, pal. It's mine to decide what I do with it. <laughs> yeah, but if we're gonna keep this whole thing going, I don't think I want a part of the expenditures for our own purchases to go towards like a 200,000 gold piece well, of after fucking how... sourdough covered in platinum. Well, looking at how Jace's plan went for this whole ordeal in the first place, I doubt I'm working with any y'all after this. The boss probably doesn't want me to. You haven't been showing up as a reliable company. I'm very reliable. Jace is a lot different to any of us. We are reliable. Jace is not reliable. Who's Jace again? <laughs> Jace was the one that fucked this whole thing up in the first place. Oh, I want to kill him. Yeah, I think we all want to a little, but we're at a point in time where we could do with any help and hands we could get. So if we find him again, we'll keep him around until the end, eh? And then we kill him. And then we kill him. Oh. <laughs> you two concern me. Like, quite a bit. Okay. If this is concern, you calories, maybe you ain't built for the game, eh? This is a whole different section of the game. Welcome to the big leagues, pal. You're lucky I'm tolerating you. And Callers is gonna, can you know, like heels, heel turn and start walking right towards the tree. Give me two v one. I think you can go. How how strong is Callers? I am not strong. I am quite dexterous, but not strong. As you as you turn around, she's gonna like put a hand on your shoulder, kind of like dig his claws in a little bit. This bro has 18 strength. Ooh. What's just happening? Be, just be like, listen, you... pal. <laughs> know your place, okay? <laughs> Duster. Um. Yeah. You know what happens if this guy turns south, right? Yeah. Know your place, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shell's gonna like take a hand off couch and kind of like push him forward as we go to uh, the hideout. I will keep that. In my mind. Calorus will, will not say anything. Calorus will stay straight faced. I love how Dust is looking mad shit while being held by one arm <laughs> by Shell. <laughs> He's like a bottom of the leaderboard in a game, but talking the most shit. Do you do you take Duster into the hideout with you? Of course I do. Okay. Amazing. Uh Fair and Calorus, you're the only two left just above the hideout. Well, no, I was already walking into the kind out when oh, yeah, I'm, Zob I'm making me. sure Calorus is going ahead of us. Oh, okay, I see. So, yeah, so Calorus is the first one going. I'm just kind of here holding people's weapons that they didn't take from me. <laughs> yeah, everybody everybody you. goes into the hideout, and Fair's just left there with a handful of weapons. Like, what do I do with these? <laughs> just like, touch them. It's like, yeah. Keep carrying them with me. This can't go badly. Just put them in my backpack. Uh, yeah. So, Fair, after everybody gets into the hideout ahead of you, do you go in after them? Whoops, why would I not be? Fair <laughs> enough. No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on my own. Fair I'm gonna effect. leave everybody, everybody's gonna come see me again, and I'm gonna have it. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna have stolen everything. No. <laughs> Um, alright, as you all make your way back into the hideout, you hear the familiar sounds that always seemed a little off to you in your hideout. While your hideout is basically just a tree root you carved out inside of, one thing you haven't noticed about the, the hideout is, other than its disheveled furniture you carved out of the tree root, again, is how it strangely sounds like you're outside in a forest while you're in this 
the little cracks of light shining in almost feel as if though you've gone to another plane and you're just in a bulb above somewhere, but this doesn't strike you as odd, you know, you, you don't really have much time to dwell on this, because instead of there just being one person who you left in your hideout, there's two. Jack, who has completely cleaned the pain off himself and still is just as golden as ever, uh, is talking to some random half-elf on the other side of the table, and as you all come inside, you hear Jack go, oh, tell me more about how you fucked up this heist. Please, I'm really willing to hear this. And Jace, I would like you to describe your character, please. Okay. Jace goes half elf, red eyes, blue blue hair, no, white, white hair. Pronouns! Blue hair, pronouns! Blue hair, pronouns! No! White hair and pronouns. Red eyes, white hair, go on. Uh, they've got like a leathery jacket on. It's like, like a dark brown. Are they muscular, skinny. Uh, like an average build. Average build. They're like five seven, average height. All right. I hope they're wearing pants. They are wearing pants. In fact, <laughs> just had to. I don't care what kind of pants. Just had to establish that. Uh, is that all you want to say for it? Uh, sure. Uh, as, as everybody comes in, you all recognize this half-elf sitting at the table to be Jace, who has just kind of strolled back in here and seems to be having a begrudging conversation with Jack, who sits at the other side of the table. And you all now notice his tail, Jack's tail. Jack doesn't have a normal tail. At the tip of his tail, he almost has this little ring around it, and inside of his tail is a little coin object you can't tell if it's bone metal it's gold and it twirls around in his tail as he moves and speaks with it it almost never stops it will slow or speed up but it never stops and he he's just twirling his little golden dagger you know just has his hand on his chin just listening to all the delightful things jace might be saying so feel free power is one in first right mm -hmm. yes yeah Yeah. 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 Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Um, Cal is seeing that Jace is in there immediately is like fully on the defense because you know I don't. Cal is like I do not want this. I don't want to involve myself <laughs> with this now. Uh, and Calaris is gonna cast uh, Tasha's hideous laughter on Jace. Jesus. All right, right on the offensive. What the hell? That's not really that offensive. It's just uh, you can't move. Uh, you need to make a whiz save. Okay. I mean, it's offensive. It's just not aggressive. <laughs> I rolled a dot one. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, you can obviously feel that. Oh. <laughs> this is great, guys. That's great. The zombies gone PRB. <laughs> zombies gone PRB, and then I. Jace is now Jace is now incapacitated. Hey, I'm just imagining. To, to build off what uh, Cedar said, uh, the minute Calaris casts this spell on the Jace, Jace, what's the funniest shit you can think of? He um, turned himself oh, into a bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you think yeah. of the time that your wild magic sorcerer friend accidentally turned themselves into a pickle <laughs> and you just cannot <laughs> stop pickle, laughing. Pickle. You just start bawling out in laughter. Jack <laughs> sees this occur and he just goes, oh my, that is a bit uh, extreme. You know, I was waiting to see what we all thought of them, but if we're ready uh, to kill them, I mean, I'm not opposed. And Jack begins I'm to- I'm not in to kill them. Well, you're sending a lot of- I'm just curious to know- I'm just curious to know why he's here. Well, I don't know. I just kind of, you know, was sitting here, and then the motherfucker appeared, and we had a nice conversation. I didn't know if you wanted me to kill him. I didn't know if he was a friend, you know? He knew where the hideout was, so there was that, so I didn't really do anything. Are, are we... The rest That's of you have made your way in at this point, yeah? Yeah. Um, Jack, you know, motions to all of you, just ignoring Jace. 
cackling on the floor. Are we kidding them or are we like disposing of them? <laughs> no. 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 We no. Uh, yeah. We are keeping. We are keeping the half of alive. No. Yeah. Okay, alright, I just had to be sure. It seems the shopping trip has uh, gone quite a quite a distance, no? You've got the pickaxes, some rope. Is that a grappling hook attack? That is an interesting choice. There's a lot of weapons. You you clearly took my advice too hard. I appreciate Weapon? it. Weapon oh, yeah. Dust through this record for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and I got you a thing too, Kellers. Here crossbow, you go. I what think. the fuck does that yeah. even? The why, hand why are you so? Thing. Why are you so nonchalant about that? You give us to that, and you're like, oh, okay. I also Kellers, got a funky wand. Look at you. How is the wand? Yeah. Right to... I mean, I suppose it is a wand. The weapon is a weapon. You don't want to know what'll happen when I use it. I don't even okay, know. Okay, now you're concerning me. What is the wand? The wand. Wand. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. It's a wand of cash. <laughs> Horrifying, but I have... Right at you. What? What? I didn't say anything. Tool. That is horrifying, but <laughs> frankly, I don't think that it will be much of a bother. Are we leaving them laughing on the floor like that, or are we going to... It lasts one minute. Uh, so, by the time well, this conversation's yeah, we'll over... It, yeah. as, he, as he's asking this and notioning towards Jace. Jace, you remember <laughs> that after your friend turned themselves into a pickle, a dog ate it them had... and it wasn't as funny <laughs> as you remember it to be. <laughs> and your laughter <laughs> subsides. I mean, that's still a bit funny. <laughs> like... That's still kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Jace is gonna stand up while laughing. <laughs> but laughing isn't forceful now. It's just actual laughter. <laughs> yeah. Genuine. So, uh, what are we doing here? <sighs> nice to see you too, Cal. That wasn't my question. Well, <laughs> I'll be right back. Lloyd! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's in regards Hi. to the fact zombies said drama like that? And I'm like, what? <laughs> drama. Anyway, you want to explain yourself? What are you doing? Uh, mine, mine's not a lot of these I mean, after how the last one went? Yeah, well, the last one went like that because I lost my balance and I fell and I dropped things because oh. people just kind of made me carry everything. Well, which is oh. not in the plan, but you know what? <laughs> Why did the I improvised just and no, he went, oh, he's fucked he's up for it. it. And I, oh. this is not, this is totally not my fault. <laughs> Right. He was he was saying oh because he realized know, who this you, is. It's so funny. You know, I think he that. would have known considering he claimed he watched the shit we did and saw how we failed. Yeah. This is uh this is the uh, the one that was with you. That's why they knew where this was. Oh, okay. I'm so okay. glad you can think so. I'm so glad you can uh -huh. use your brain. Jeez, I'm sorry for giving you a million dollar heist to perform. Jeez. Million dollar? Oh, oh, oh we haven't filled you in <laughs> on the plan. <laughs> uh, you need to do no talking. Well, excuse me, please. You're excused. Jack just Why Jack look me? just looks at you disappointedly, but not as disappointed <laughs> as in like you just disappointed. denied him something well, he you wants. You think his disappointed look is matching up to mine? <laughs> yeah. Disappointed parent look. <laughs> no, he's just got a disappointed. He's got a disappointed like, are you serious? Kind of look. <laughs> yeah. He's got that disappointed and look what you fucking done with your life. <laughs> Continue. I'm. I'm just curious, you know, as, you know, you, I wouldn't say single-handedly ruined our entire heist, but you almost got us all caught. To be fair, they just said it was an accident. There's a, there's a single word in that that may or may not have some sort of emphasis. You! That is not the word. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
You can tell that nothing's changed. It's been a few hours. A few hours? It's been a few hours? Yeah? Yeah. Oh. How long, how long did you think it'd been? I, I don't know. I got up very fast then. They really didn't lock me up for that long. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you just get out of it innocently? Yeah, pretty much. They just felt bad. Oh yeah, <laughs> All right, that's Isaac, fair. You I wanted... heard about that. It was a it was a clerical error, error up at the guard's office. They let out a prisoner. Did I say you could talk? I am just <laughs> trying to give a little bit of the context. Shut, I don't. Shut, okay, shut. okay. Jeez. What? You want in? Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got nothing better Help. than this. Help! We shouldn't could you... use another person. Yeah, but shouldn't that be like a group decision? It would not hurt. Who? Maybe okay, you raise your hand if you're okay with them joining. Jack raises his hand. Chase raises his Jack, hand. you are not. Jack, you are <laughs> not. Uh, I am. I am a point. part of this group as anyone. I am the one that bought you the. the hey, I ice. mean that's half of the hands already. Uh, shelter. Chase, you not there we go. Point. Dust, are you in? Dust is just kind of like swinging back and forth in Zhao's arm like a swing and goes, ah, you fucking puts arm up. Yeah, see, majority, <laughs> we win. The decision is made. Fuck, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Big role player, yeah, big role player, Yeah, big role player. So it's wow. Kalos, like... You... Majority rules, you know? Why are you... Why are you even counting Jice's fucking count? I get that it's still majority I, rules. Yeah, I was gonna but... say, it doesn't hey, matter whose um, votes I listen, don't count. Listen, listen. Plan you. amongst yourselves for a couple minutes. I have to go take my dog out real quick. Yeah, we're right gonna back. keep role well, playing. Yeah, yeah, go, go on and do that. Playing. Go! Oh, finally! Just... That Jack guy, shut up! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jack's finally being fucking quiet for us. Oh, the friend! Oh, I'm gonna go and shell it. <laughs> Just, Chase, you need to, you need to at least promise me you're not going to make another fuck up involve this. I, I mean, imagine they'll be fine. This one ain't their plan. I don't. Now it's the shooting I tree can. What do you mean you legally can't? I legally cannot make. Because accidents happen. That's, you don't use the word legally for that. That's, I legally cannot. That's not... You know, let's just not question it. I legally not the right term. Are you gonna put lawyers. Duster down? Oh yeah, uh, fucking... Shell's gonna, like, drop Duster at this point. <laughs> and I mean drop. <laughs> You're not getting put down nicely. <laughs> You're just dropped. Yep. You'll be, you've been dropped. <laughs> okay. Just dust themselves off. <laughs> now, well, you know, you it, talk amongst it. yourselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ha 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 I'm going to be emptying all of the contents here. Did we get the, the food and, and be mindful of the allergy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got of course. nothing. We got nothing. Uh, what, what allergy? What? Don't worry. Like, it's not that's the pain on my pain on my no, not that I'm aware. Oh, cashew, you're fine, man. Cashew, please, a cashew. Please. Not yet. <laughs> what the fuck is allergic to cashews? <laughs> Pointing at the clown. Frenchman. The piss guy. He's right the there. Frenchman. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he went out to take his dog. Yeah. Yeah, Jack he went out to take a piss. Jack went to go take a piss. Oh. Uh, yeah, you see Dustin tap on your shoulder and, like, kind of <laughs> jump up to kind of be on your shoulder. Well, wait. Who's that one? <laughs> Pointing to Calorous. Fucking mm. forgot I get. Me? I'm sorry. Pointing to me. I'm... What, is, what, is, what, is, what did he say? What did he say? Sorry. Uh, who the fuck's that one? While well, pointing to Calorous. <laughs> Duster has like a po um, object permanence, but for people and existence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh... And like he's gonna whisper this to us. Like he's the one that if he doesn't pull his weight, gets uh, you know. Oh, oh yeah. Put your around I, here. I'm right here. Exactly. Tell they're whispering. What? What's it? What's it? What's the name? The name. We are in a uh, quite small what, tree. What's he called? What? What? What race is Calorus again? Calorus is a human. Hmm. D. <sighs> what's the? <laughs> <laughs> Call him Minecraft Steve. 
I will actually okay. kill you. Okay. Hops off your shoulder. <laughs> Just looking at Calaris, I look like Calaris does not mean that I am Minecraft Steve. He's looking up at Calaris with a smile. <laughs> Hello, Minecraft Steve. Hello, Minecraft Steve. Hello. Oh no! Oh no, Jinternet. What? Jinternet? Jinternet. The Jinternet. Yeah. 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 Yep. The Jinternet. Yeah. Welcome, the Jinternet. Have a look around. I don't know. Brain of yours can think how can be found. Okay. Somebody get a. Somebody get an image of an image of this fucking weird bird. Hey, I'm back. Oh. I was just called Minecraft Steve. I want you to You fix will that. be called Minecraft Steve. You will until be called you Minecraft. I will actually. Until you tell us. Unless. T until oh. someone tells Duster what you're actually called, you will be called Minecraft Steve. Oh, I will actually choke him out. <laughs> but you don't know that you're going to be called Minecraft Steve. <laughs> I know, I would. Alright, alright, alright. Jack, uh. Jack, 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 he did, actually. He, he went out of the hideout to go piss for a moment. And as he comes back in, well, now that I'm done with uh, entering Nature's Call, maybe we should have one review. Never say that again. Just, just don't Nobody say that Nobody asked you to talk. You're a ranger. Nobody asked okay, you to say that. Okay, maybe we shouldn't go over the right, plan for the, the heist, and we should just fucking die and get arrested. Okay. Oh, I'll try that. Really really right just falls on the floor. Is that... <laughs> I was being sarcastic, and you need me to talk at least to some extent, or else well, I will... no. Don't We've already it. heard a lot from you right now. Yes, but we have a new <laughs> member who does not know the plan at all. Okay, so we can explain the plan. They I the have the map, you do not! <laughs> it's Jack holding the map. <laughs> uh, can no, I... Jack's map is in his coat where he put it. Can I now uh, get up, go slightly backwards so I'm in the darkness, and basically go invisible in the darkness and go around? Well, he can't see me anyway because it's darkness, but if he had dark vision, he wouldn't be able to see me either. Right. Um, you're just going to sneak around to try to... Yeah, I don't want to try and pinch map. his thing. Pinch the <laughs> coin? Oh, no, pinch the map. <laughs> I thought you, I thought oh, you meant thing is a Oh, you meant thing. steal it. Uh, yeah. Roll stealth. Right. Stealth? All right. Steeler, it's okay. We were on the same I am a small creature, so I have plus four. I also have proficiency, so that's a, that's a 29. <laughs> that's just like... <laughs> I love that, being a small creature. Is that a 20, not 20? No, that's a 19 plus 10. Because I have I, four dexterity, plus I two proficiency. 20 for 25. Plus four. Damn, but you you're still, I, I mean... You... Hold on, let me go fucking look at my house rule. I can't remember because it, it's been... In, it's, is, I'm in darkness. He wouldn't be able to see... Oh yeah, no, you're invisible. Uh, okay, he doesn't he doesn't see you sneak up, but as soon as you get the map about halfway out of his pocket, he at disadvantage if he can't see it. Good point, actually. Really good point. Mm. Uh, that's a three for a seven. Um, Jack does not <laughs> notice awesome. you at all as you take out a copy of the map from his pocket. But as you'll soon see, that wasn't the only one he had. As he reaches into his right breast pocket and takes out oh, the that's map convenient. where he originally had it and slaps it down in front of everyone. I slap down the other version on top of it. What? <laughs> well, okay, I'm not sure how you... You're just smiling at him. Uh, That's you see as he, the you see as he picks up the map he put down, it was not a map of the museum, it was a map of the mayor's home. And he quickly wraps it back up and puts it back in. Sorry, that was one from a, another heist I had. It you was, already told us about that heist. Yes, I know, but I keep my maps. I keep my maps, you know? Oh, it is, it's so great! Yeah, it is just always adding, good. Adding, adding this little piece of info. Thank yeah, you. Just looking at Zhao now, just like... <laughs> Thank you, Dustia, for um, showing us the map. Uh, speaking, speaking of the mayor, I yes. thought I'd uh, inquire on something for a moment. Okay. Uh, you, uh, a, a little butt of mine. What? Uh, just so happened to mention to me while I was out getting my gear. Yes. That the mayor had a husband that looks awfully like you. Mm, 
that, uh, you know, Are you when, when sometimes a high school is wrong and you don't want to cause political uproar, sometimes you have to pay, and sometimes you have to pay in a uh, embarrassing way. <laughs> Listen, if you're married, just say it. I am not married. It is a business transaction. Can we move on, please? So you fuck. We do not need to talk I about my want, love I, life. I, I, that's not, no, that's, I think it's quite important since I lied that I was dating someone to get all this gear. You lied to a bunch of employees who will likely never see you again. Do you really um, think that's that pertinent? Somebody needs to get I mean, that employee at the general store fired. I mean, Ferdinand's a really good guy. Not kill! <laughs> this is not important. What happened between me and the mayor is my business, and maybe it has to do with my love life. Are we satisfied? Was no. it good? It was alright. It wasn't that. the I best I had. I don't want to know that! <laughs> it's French, so it's and obviously weird. What the, <laughs> the plan? What the is plan. French? I don't know what this is, and we you? will not dwell on this. Okay, the plan is, is that you see the nature exhibit, kind of motioning to Jace, the na nature exhibit, yes? <laughs> I want this guy dead so much. Probably. We all do, but we have enough stuff for that. The, the, big, so much. the big green nature exhibit. Most of the other exhibits have a sky window. That is the important part. These sky windows are reinforced, and we are unable to break through them via normal means. We need to break in through the nature exhibit because the nature exhibit has special glass that allows the sunlight in order to, well, get Keep in. Keep the stuff alive. Keep the stuff alive. The ruby butterflies. Now, this is actually the important part. I never mentioned exactly, specifically, what loot is inside these places. Inside of the, well, the nature exhibit, there is a very rare species of butterfly. The ruby butterfly, said to be forged from rubies. You have told us about that. These butterflies, well, they have rubies inside of their wings. You could sell the creature, you could sell the gem, I don't really care. But there are a few cameras inside this room from my time as the being inside of this place. So, it is not actually very easy to catch them all. We could catch them, but we have a problem with being seen. Next, after we break into the nature exhibit and take what we want, he points to the archaeology exhibit, we hit the archaeology exhibit. There are a couple fossils in there that would go great with collectors to have inside their homes, and, well, there is also a map of the entire thing if we want to take a spare copy, but that is besides the point. Now, there is one thing I should mention, again, that we do not touch, and it is a gem inside of a big orb skeleton. I cannot remember the creature's name, it was always such a foul thing to look at. Do not touch it, it is cursed, passed down for many legends. You may awaken, you know, something bad and then set off the alarm. Don't touch it. Alright? It's not worth it. As glittery as it looks, it is not worth it. Finally, he points to the grey exhibit. That is the geology exhibit. This is where everything we want is. There are nine gemstones, three worn sapphires, three cannibal rubies, and three jewels of the dead. These are the small things inside this room, though. The egg of Draco Ball is said to be inside this room. The egg of Draco Ball, I don't think I need to remind you, is what is said to be the final egg ever laid inside of Draco Board when it was a dragon's den many, many years ago. It is said when broken open, it will give you three wishes to do whatever you please. The wishes don't have any limits, even it's said. It is quite a powerful artifact, and you could either sell it or get a lot of the wishes and never need to sell it. I personally do not care of what you do with it. But even besides that, if the egg is not acquired, there is at least a bit of loot to be had, if that makes sense. The egg is something I've been trying to steal for many years, but you know, as a ex-museum curator, I can't exactly steal all of my things. In fact, some of the details about camera placement I could be wrong about, as, you know, only recent surveillance has shown me the cameras they have not been placed in while I was there, so I would not know the camera placement. Anyways, once we hit the geology exhibit, the exit is the biggest problem. We could either run all the way back to the nature exhibit, cutting through the history exhibit, he points to it. There's lots of 
historical baubles there. Nothing really worth any money. Reading up on some things might be interesting, but I don't think we have time to do that on the heist. We can cut through the Draco Bolt exhibit and go back up through the rope we have, but I can't imagine that is the more gra most graceful exit. That would be the only way I have in mind, though, unless we have some kind of other exit strategy plan that won't burn the entire place to the ground and get us all much higher charges than, well, just stealing some rubies. He kind of waits for anybody in the group to suggest another exit strategy. Do you all do this? I flip them off. Well, I'm sorry, yes. but... Oh, go on. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, but I am just trying to get the heist here. I have no clue why you all are so mean to me. I'm just trying to get the heist. Whatever. Does anybody else have an exit strategy that is not flipping me the bird? Jace is currently asleep on the table. <laughs> and is also not dying. Playing dead will get us thrown into the local volcano. We do not want to do that. As he said, flipping the bird, that's just a flip. Okay, flipping the bird in any kind of meme, including literally. I think, I think these uh, these plans will do. All right. We run back to the rope and we escape. That'll be our. You mission. have to come with us. Yes. Why? Well, I know the layout of the museum. I know where a lot of it's things are. Map. You're going to get lost, and you are going to touch something that you should not. You will get seen by a camera, we'll and frankly- You but... tell us what to do, we right. can handle it. I would rather not have- Or I could just go back posing as the curator of the museum and just say, hey, you know, these people are going to rob it, and they have the plans, here are all of them, and then you're screwed, so. I would kill you. I think I would. Eh, you would not. It would seem it. rather weird if you had all the plans to a, a bank robbery, right? It would not be weird for well, me to have the map of I mean, the place I used to work. Yeah, but they hand them you out said you'd students. have the plans as well. Uh, no more questions, Now I just don't want you to come. Well, too bad. I'm going to come, and you will find my skills indispensable because I, I, I don't will know find if you annoying. I don't know if any of you. You'll have be lucky if you live. I don't know if you have any practical lockpicking materials, but again, I should mention one of my favorite party tricks is to lockpick from range. It's quite a fun ability. But that's besides the point. Are we all clear on the plan? Where we're hitting first? No. Flask. But I'll manage. Okay. To put it in short terms, nature exhibit, uh, archaeology uh, exhibit, geology, and then when we leave, through the history exhibit, it's not very well guarded, and then back into the nature exhibit for a leave. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Can we not just go through the front door? Do you want to get arrested, shot, or even murdered? I mean, I'm okay like with really you I think I would, like, actually prefer that. If you want to go through the front door as some kind of distraction, that would be great. But once any of the guards are alerted, the whole facility will go on lockdown. It is not a pleasant sight. Lockdown as in the guards will know someone. We know what them. lockdown is. Well, okay, is it? This but, does not quell my, my desire to go through the front door. Well, it, well it's not, we're not going through the front door. It is a dumb okay. idea. We will be seen. It is also just... The more you talk about it, the more you make any of these people in this room want to do it. <laughs> Duster, no. <laughs> so we are all clear on the plan? Not a clue, but we'll, we'll do it. We'll manage. All right, then. Do it, um, now, no. Jack looks at his wrist, uh, and you see a little mini sundial is on his wrist, and uh, somehow it magically tells him the time. There's no shadow reflecting off of it, except for, you know, the little bit of light reflecting off of Jack. Uh, we have about four hours until the night is considered to be night inside of the, well, entire place. Are we all ready to wait it out? 
Hmm. I mean, yeah. unless we want to go on the day and have double the risk of being seen, but... I just don't want to be with you. I'm tired. Falls off, just falls backwards, going to sleep. Well, that is one way. I suppose we could take it from that. Said we'd get a long rest for this before the heist. Oh, yeah, so I'm getting it. <laughs> True. Well, we are sleeping. Yeah. It's bedtime. I just wish you weren't here. God, you are so rude, Damn it. Uh, Jack uh, goes to the back of the room and he just like sprawls out on top of a couple of the um, bed rolls that are back there. Almost like he just turns his brain off for a moment, falls over, and he just comfortably sprawls himself out all over the the bed rolls. We could just kill him. Duster gets up and slowly walks on over. Could just, just very could quietly. Just Start to ruffle through that bag. Uh, his bag? No, my bag. Oh, alright. I pull out a small brown bag that seems to have something in it, puts it away slowly, and walks away. Oh. It was the cashews. <laughs> we could just do it, though. He's right there. He's. Uh, but now you've given me an idea. I will go through his bag quietly. Uh, alright. You don't find much in his bag. It seems all of his loot is stored somewhere else. He doesn't have any of it on him. But you do find uh, various sets of weapons inside his bag, all gold-plated, of course. You see his gold-plated dagger. You see him twirl around. You see uh, a short sword plated in gold, of course. And a quiver, you guessed it, also plated in gold. But instead, it's more of a gold paint over the leather. It's got to be practical. Um, with arrows, and as you pull an arrow head out, you're horrified to see that even the shaft of the arrow and the arrowhead, it's plated in gold. But the feathers are... Isn't that his name? Golden Shaft? <laughs> no, Golden Tooth. Oh my god. Uh, and then there's also a longbow, which it also, like the quiver, is painted gold instead of actual gold. Cool, I take them all. <laughs> I just, like, fucking try, try to shove them all in my bag as much as I can. Um... Roll sleight of hand. Alright. With advantage because he's sleeping. Just, just advantage he's sleeping? normally, I'll say. We don't know if he's actually yeah, sleeping. Yeah, disadvantage. Uh, 22. That's a 18 plus 2. Um, oh, it's plus 4. It makes some noise, but it doesn't seem to really wake him as he just kind of gives you gives a little as he's uh, sitting there asleep. <laughs> we still could just kill him. Now, I don't normally condone murder, but we could. I do. <laughs> Nobody else has an opinion, apparently. <laughs> what if what's going on? I don't know. D death? Yes, no. To who? Me? I don't think now is a good time. I mean, he's asleep. We have all the plan. We don't necessarily need him. We could murder. We could murder. We could. I'll leave it up to you guys. <laughs> I think we just leave it for now. Why? Uh, Calendars, why don't you sleep on that decision? <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking a nap. That's I thought it was called my Very Steve. weird of you to say. Okay, but like, what what do we gain from him being alive? Um, I don't know. Considering he has all of the more important things that may help us. Yeah, which would come on as well as yeah. he's gone. Yeah, they're no longer his. He's dead. Yeah, but how do we know it's not some binding thing that he has? Bind in the house. If you want to kill him, that's up to you. But I'm not. Yeah. I'm not being a part of it. Pass the bind. I'm fucking stupid. Um, Shell's gonna like check. give the little pouch of cashew dust uh, over to Duster. Um, I lick it. Yep, cashew. <laughs> I mean, listen, pal. You're the Duster, right? <laughs> can I? Can, can I? Do you think that's enough to kill him, though? It's more. 
probably over Shell, a pound. Shell, Shell's gonna put a hand on both shoulders of Duster, look into his eyes and just be... You can go ahead, Duster. <laughs> can't wait till this backfires horribly in our faces. Oh. I'm going to slowly go up to this man, see his mouth open wide, uh, without opening the pad because this is stupid, we'll just put the entire bag in his mouth oh and then just God. hope it works. <laughs> it, like, okay. Right. Just the entire bag. <laughs> Not even opening it? Nope. I mean, it's already open. He just tasted it. Roll. Yeah. <laughs> it is already open. Okay, it's, it's open. open. Roll now? me. No, you know what? I didn't. I don't need. I thought you didn't. Really? Okay, just. I, I, I was like. I was like expecting everything until you said I'm just His shoving the whole bag. Open, in the mouth. bag was open. I mean, it works. <laughs> Although it is open side upwards. Okay, it's not being poured. Oh, I mean, you put the whole bag in his mouth. Yeah, it's still in there. Um, he's gonna bite it. It's gonna explode. But as you shove this bag <laughs> into Jack's mouth, you see that he bites down on it for a second, and as it poof, you see as his entire face turns red. He doesn't awaken from this, but you just hear. <coughs> in his sleep as if though he's choking on something and eventually as the redness continues to grow on his face and as he's purely red all over it seemingly going into anaphylactic shock he just kind of coughs you see him just cough out the dust as he just falls over not moving not even snoring at this point well or well can i check for a pulse to make sure uh, hold on, hold on. Give me just a second. Yeah, go ahead and roll medicine for me. That's not the right fucking dice I had. That's not the right dice. Um, not twenty. Um, or it, twenty-four if you need the number. There's a pulse. And okay. Well, as you know what? <laughs> you feel the cold. Uh, as you feel what's the uncharacteristically cold skin of him, you see immediately as he shoots up. <coughs> God, I did not think you would expect to do that immediately. God, goodness. I slipped. Oh, you slipped. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Zombie. Yeah. I was gonna say the second I feel a pulse, I'm casting inflict wound. <laughs> uh, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Right, what's my save? What's my save on that? I just to to roll, roll to hit. it. Oh, you yeah. rolled a hit. Okay, yeah, go ahead. And if he's prone and paralyzed, I think it becomes an automatic crit. He is not <laughs> incapacitated. Prone or no, he's not he was lying down. Was no, lying. I did it. Yeah, I did it the second yeah, I felt the pulse. pulse. Uh, he's on. What? Oh, good that means like, um, He's prone. Basically, he was lying on the floor, down, correct? He was prone, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. he's not incapacitated. Um, you... No, it's prone. Is uh, The creature's disadvantage. Attack roll against the creature has advantage. If the attack was in five feet, the creature... Oh, no. Yeah, the crit is something different. But yeah, you just have an advantage. Okay, so advantage. then, yeah, you have advantage. Yeah. I was going to say, oh, he, he's... Say. I'm thinking about, what is it? Paralyzed? It might be paralyzed. I don't know, you never know. Maybe I'll crit yeah. anyway. He's paralyzed. You're more likely to. Yeah! I'm more likely to. Uh, what well, is happening? I have ice cream. Are... Okay! What kind of ice cream do you think Panda has? Um, panda flavored. I feel like it's got to be something slightly exotic, right? Probably. Like it's, gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be like something slightly fancy. Jelly ice cream. Mm. No, not as, not as in like a, a wild out there flavor, but just like a, a slightly uncommon flavor, like like a pecan or something. Yeah. Coconut. Okay. So I rolled a twenty-two and then a twenty-six, which is a nat twenty. Fuck. Um. Yeah, roll for damage. 
<laughs> yeah, inflict wounds. What's happening? Inflict wounds. Hell yeah. Inflict wounds. I and I did crit. Yo, it's a great day. When I'm inflicting wounds. <laughs> inflict wounds critting is great. Mm -hmm. So what flavors did you get for guess for ice cream? Uh, pecan was like the only real guess I had. Yeah. It's chocolate with Ferrero Rochers. I knew it would be slightly fancy. I knew it. Fancy. It's because I got it from a, a Indian restaurant when I was getting curry. I got this as well. Fucking <laughs> Oh, you, you trust desserts from like delivery places? Yeah. I do not. <laughs> it's in a glass. Dang. It's in a glass what'd cup. You, what'd you get, Sonny? Jeez. Hold on, I'm rolling. Yeah. Fancy. It's a lot to roll. Yeah. Mm. It's two it dice. What? Isn't it two dice? No, it's like 3d6 is base damage. Oh. And then so double. It's like, it's like 66. And I did it at second level. Oh boy. You didn't say that previously. Oh, it's, I mean, it's, you've already cast it. I don't so have. Okay. You can say it after because it doesn't change. Yeah, I know. Damage. I was just saying. You didn't say that previously. But... I don't have to tell you which level I'm casting. Well, not I, do, I mean, you do, because then if I assume it's at first level, it's gonna, and you say a really big number, I'm gonna be confused. But it's fine. Well, you, yeah, you then I would have clarified. Okay, well then, you said it now, so it's fine. <laughs> it's just a lot, because it's eight dice. Yeah. It's more like whipped cream than ice cream. That's good. It's good, though. Um. Hmm. So how are you guys? I'm vibing. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 52. Jesus Christ. I... What? 52? <laughs> yeah. Don't spells not crit. 68. Christ. Uh, um, throw a attack again. Yeah, as soon as he's, like, as soon as you touch him and he tries to get some words out, you cast this on him and he immediately like i was wrong it's actually 60 10. no 80 10 because you did a second level a higher level yeah i did 80 10. yeah oh, okay geez. i thought it was like fucking 68. he seizes up like he... <laughs> if i got in a 50 like two with like 60 i would have been impressed with myself where no where previously his face seemed to go Red to a comedic extent. You realize now that this was some sort of magical effect that he was putting on as the red quickly fades as soon as his entire body is just shot up with these pain. These cuts all begin to go over him and he sits up for a moment and then falls back down dead. I think that one. Who does that? So like what's he got in his little bag, I suppose. Oh, fucking weapons. If you were to look at Yeah, what's at he his... got in his coat or anything? What else that is that? I was gonna say there's some stuff in there. Yeah. Don I still get looking. Okay. Uh <laughs> literally looking. Roll Oh yeah, y'all like right there. Sorry. Yeah. 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 So, looking like, behind you. Think it, I keep thinking it's dust yeah. Fucking looking gonna, like, just be looking behind you though. Looking <laughs> in his coat, you find the two maps. Well, you find one map because you never actually took back the, the first one. You find the map of the mayor's mansion in there. It's it's a nice and lavish mansion. He has a piano room for some reason. It's actually Guys, what if we just change the heist? We go steal the mayor. Like stuff on the mayor. Just <laughs> the whole <laughs> mayor. Wait till we get through everything in here first. <laughs> um, you also find uh, a little bag uh, that says, you know, cover money. It's got about 30 silver in it. Clearly meant to just be for, you know, when he goes out, out and around. And you also find a strange map. It, you think it's a map anyway. All it says, all it has on it is just a hand and this strange symbol that looks like two shovels crossed over each other like swords. Uh, you have no idea what this means. I don't know, I'm keeping it. But he lies there, you know, uh, cuts all As over. I was like perching behind Faya, could I like do an inside check on the paper? It See what the fuck, like is it a, can you do a... Is it a different language of symbols or like 
is it a like does it mean it i can also do a perception check if you want but like does it mean something kind of uh, thing uh i would say i don't actually know what i would make you roll for that uh prob- investigation yeah i was gonna say investigation roll me an investigation check to see if you can why do you have to do that <laughs> Cause I don't. I have plus six in insight and perception. I don't think. Can I give insight... a help action? Yeah, you're both observing it. You're All right, cool. I'll also give you a guidance. Thank you. That's a D <laughs> four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got eighteen on the die. Plus one is nineteen. Uh, plus three is twenty-two. It isn't some kind of coded message with symbols. It is a drawing of something, seemingly where you can discern. You put your hand on this symbol. You're not sure what it does when you put your hand on this symbol, as the drawing doesn't really make any much more sense after that. But <laughs> um, you do you do look at this drawing, and you know it's you put your hand on this symbol. Can't really discern anything else other than that, though. I'm gonna just like I did with the. Uh... The mayor sash. I'm gonna commit the like picture to memory kind of thing. Just remember it. Just remember it. All right. <laughs> Lovely. Um. Yeah. yeah. You 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 go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Anything else we want? Wait. To do? <laughs> uh, are we? gonna look through his coat again or anywhere else is there more in his coat as you turn to look at him he is not there what you do see is a blood trail going across the floor and a very weak jack right about like he's standing right in the way of well where you leave he got a nat 20 on stealth to be clear that's why I went Ooh. um uh, okay, but... Of where the people changed. never left? I'm gonna say, the people you who are, like, further actively in. looking... Uh, yeah, but all I, of us? I'm stood at a distance yeah. watching this whole thing go Only down. Duster. Only Duster and Veo went actually yeah. in. Everyone else was kind of there. I'm stood back observing the situation, letting these two deal with it. If he moves, I'm seeing him. He's not invisible. Alaris is also just standing there. A, well, a, An, a nat 20 self does not beat the fact he's like in front of us and you see him. Dragging himself the blood and they're... Like, it's not exactly like... That's, that's an audible look, yeah. I, um... Shit, why is my... Um, hold on, why is my Wi-Fi too? He was invisible I am on the wrong that's fucking okay. Wi-Fi. Hold on, I will not have a repeat of last... It's not okay. There we go. Well, right. yeah, you switched to Wi-Fi. It's I not didn't gonna think it, it was gonna. I didn't think it was gonna take that long. Um, I, uh, you, uh, you could um, just say they will see him just fucking crawl. <laughs> a net twenty ain't beating this zombie. I'm yeah, sorry. He's, gonna, he's like very. You, part right now. He's not like he's just moving. He's not you, well, and that 20 doesn't he, make you invisible. He has no. Well, I'm not saying he's What's your name is Jesus. He's left yet. He's like right well, at, Yes, but it makes sense for like mine and like Panda's characters not yeah. to notice. We were looking at the other stuff. Okay. okay. They were looking at, we're him. looking at him. Well, yeah, we don't see him. But... The other three of you, he is about to attempt to leave. You've got a chance to do something. Yeah, no, the second he gets up, I'm, like, throwing my glaive at him. I would have shot a crossbow at him. <laughs> you both do it at the same time. Are you both just throwing yeah. something at him? Kill! Well, I mean, I'm okay. shooting crossbow bolt. Roll, roll both of those. Yeah, go ahead. Where am I shooting at? Calling all besties. Kill! Yeah, this guy ain't fucking Oh my god, dagger. the Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> official trailer too. What? Anyways. We're in the middle of DD! No, no, I just got that as an ad. That's why I was saying that. 
such an ad. And the music. Yeah, June, you can throw a dagger at him, Yeah, you can. I got a 23, so. Add him to the mix. Roll to hit, June. I got a 16. Sad. Uh, the other two? Uh, where's, where's my fucking damage? 23. There is my damage done. What? Uh, with a 21 to hit, uh, I'm getting... What's that? 11 damage. And I'm getting 8. Um, you... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So... You're throwing a glaive at him, and uh, Calaris, you're throwing, you're shooting at him. Shooting. Yeah, yeah, I'm shooting a crossbow bolt at him. Um. Uh, okay. The glaive that you throw, Zhao, uh, connects with his with his side. You know, it jabs into it, and you just. Oh. Sunny just appeared oh, in the darkness. Might, oh, Sunny's internet might have gone off computer. Yeah, that might that might have yeah. happened again. Um, you see as the glaive connects with his side, and you hear, oh, you know, a French grunt of pain. And Calaris, as you shoot the French crossbow... Grunt of, <laughs> French grunt of pain. Oh, <laughs> French oh, oh mon dieu! Oh, mon dieu! Oh, oh, mon dieu! Oh, um, I have so much hatred for Discord in my body. Yeah, I um, thought that might happen. Uh, Calaris, you shoot another crossbow bolt into his... Uh, into his right bicep, and as you do, he stumbles backwards, and as the entrance of your hideout is magical, he's injured by both of these shots. Uh, he's probably not getting far as he stumbles backward, and you see him out of the hideout, as all of you have done previously. Oh, oh my god! And you also god. hear right uh, up top outside a... Oh, Calus is gonna go get him. Or Zhao can. Yeah, Shell's gonna uh, pit, like run up, pick up his glaive on the way, and give chase. This guy is not fast enough. <laughs> I think he just your fell glaive over. is in him. You know, big glaives are right. <laughs> They're like, like if, the, if there's a glaive in oh, him, the he's not spe- fucking moving. Oh, the spear! I'm an idiot. It's the spear, not what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of. I literally, when you I said glaive, I thought of the though. stupid boomerang from BTD6. I don't know why I thought of that. That's not a glaive. They yeah, call it a glaive, so my brain glaive. is... Different d- types of glaves. Yeah, different uh, types of glaves. It's yeah, just no, if, the if the type of glaive Shadow has was in him, he would be, like, pinned Dead. to the ground. It, yeah. it, we'll say then, because my description was false it because of that, him. it grazed him and got stuck yeah. in the wall. Uh, yeah, he's, like, running, picking up his glaive on the way, and then going out to see him. Duster instinctively sees Zal moving. I just follow. No idea what's happening. <laughs> still thinks that the man is still by fair. <laughs> well, I guess that's how this is gonna have to go. I didn't want um, to, but man. as uh, you all make your way, uh, you're you're going up and out of the park, right? Uh, I'm dashing, so I want to know how far away this guy can get. In like six uh, seconds. He he didn't get far. You see him barely holding on, just uh, right at the like, uh, not even like two feet away from the base of the tree. And he, you know, is battered, bloodied, and looks up at you. But as the four of you zip out of this tree and see him lying there, Only bloodied. Two of us did. I didn't leave. Oh wait, no, Cal. Okay. Yeah. It was Shao and Dusta. Shao and uh, Faith, uh, Faith, uh, Fair and Calaris stayed down, I believe. And Jace. And Jace, and, uh, Jace, Jace probably yeah. did. As the Jace two of you ghost. zip up and out of your hideout, you see as someone uh, walking behind the shops, seemingly to, uh, seemingly behind the shop that Fair went to previously, looks and just sees the two of you standing there. Dusta, I imagine, looking ready to kill, no? Absolutely, always. Uh, and <laughs> this bloodied golden man who looks like the mayor's husband, he just stares and looks at the three of you with these large beady eyes, like, oh, I just Are saw the rest shit. of us walking up behind them, too? <laughs> I wasn't going. Do I... I'm going after him, I am. Do I spot this man? Uh... 
care. Not immediately. You know, your attention's on Jack first, but I imagine, Zhao, you see this guy first to notify Duster. We got yeah. a witness. I mean, if, if, if like, Fair and then, like, if June and I are following behind them, would we notice, too? Uh, yes. As you all exit your hideout and pop out right next to these guys, this man just continues to stare and... You even see from over slightly on the other side of the building where, you know, the original shady guy walked out the wall. He walks out the wall, looks towards who he thought was coming to just buy something from him, and looks over to all of you with, well, Jack looking incredibly beat up right down there. Uh, Calaris, you still stayed in, right? Yep, I did still stay in because... So Cal now, did not know what was happening up there. Cal just thought they can grab him. They'll come back. Jace, you also went up there. Yeah. Uh, so now Zhao, Duster, Fair, and Jace all stand there with this bloodied man. Both people are just looking at the two of man, you. Man, it's a good thing I'm still not myself. Yeah, I you... also am not myself. I have to see myself up. Two of you are... Has it been an hour since we it... left the thing? Oh, right, yeah. No, you're... Okay, so then no. Yeah. Definitely not, but... Zhao is still covered in the blue paint, and, well, Jace is completely different from this point, but one of these people... Well, no, actually, one of those people hasn't seen all three of you, I was going to say. that. No, that was a different one. <laughs> one of these one of people seen... knows I have dirt on them and won't want to get involved. One of them has seen, well, fair, and is just, he just kind of puts his hands up and is like, no, no, I'm not getting involved, no, nope. and he steps back into the wall. <laughs> the other man screams bloody murder, just a, the girliest scream you've ever heard. And Jack, you know, sputtering blood, uh, goes, <laughs> listen, I understand the apprehension, but this is not a good look for you. You could kiss that high school goodbye. If you get arrested. Oh, for the love of God, just finish him off. Oh, how cute. Do you want to even have a to do at all? What the hell is he talking if there's fucking cashews in his mouth? Um, so... <laughs> I don't know, like, like, should his his throat be shut? to inflict wounds to his neck. Like, shouldn't his this throat guy... be shut if he is allergic to nuts? Um... I, I, like, he should not be breathing. I didn't explicitly say this, but I said earlier the redness looked to be a magical effect that faded quickly. He, he was lying about that shit. He, he was lying, That's but, good. you know, he was lying about the cashews. Yeah, but then but then he was actually injured by the horrible wounding, um, which is why he's now sputtering blood. I'll do it again. What were you saying, Ice? Uh, this guy is, like, just, like, on the ground, right? Yeah. This guy's like this guy's not like dodging okay. anything. Well, no, so. he's incredibly bloodied and beat up. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, look, these people are scared, right? Well, one uh, of them. there's one of them, but you can see people now just kind of peeking around because, well, a man's screaming like a little girl, and they think a little girl's in danger, but. <laughs> and they see it's a full-grown man, and, you know, um, once yeah. they see make, the actual scene, they're still... Make a deck save. <laughs> the guy? Uh, I guess what's... In in what kind of... Like, how far away is the guy from... Uh, about 20 feet from you, I'd say. He's standing by the store, and you're a little ways into the park. Alright. I want to position myself so that, like, that guy's in a line uh, with Jack. Uh, yeah, okay, there's, you can, you get at an angle right. to do this. This, this, this isn't gonna reach the guy, it's just meant to, like, keep him afraid. I want Jack to make a deck save. Okay. Uh, that is a 18. 11 18. plus is 7. Is that a disadvantage? But was it supposed to be? Uh, I mean, is he, yeah, he's, prone. he's prone, prone, but he's prone, prone doesn't, it doesn't give you disadvantage. Saves, I thought it would make it auto fail. Uh, sure. well, that's a fourteen. No, paralyzed is auto fail. All that's right. a so going, going with the fourteen. I don't think. Uh, let me do the math. 
uh, what's the perfect? And I'm 14 meets it. Okay, so you're taking half damage from this, but this was honestly more for the display than actual damage. It's just meant to like intimidate people. Uh, wow, breath weapon. Just your breath weaponing on him. Yeah, this guy's getting fucking is, a what is lit on fire. Your element. Fire. Cause I'm a red dragon. Red. All right, roll for damage then. Uh, it's half, so take six. <laughs> oh, okay, so literally, yeah, all right then. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I won't say anything. Uh, you see as the fire, you know, envelops Jack, uh, and the man just screams a little louder at seeing this, and Jack is, he's so close to dying. He tells oh you, God, just fucking die. This is, you can still get out of this. Just to finish him off. Um, um, who? Huh? Duster, just, kill the just the, just guy. The, no, but this is the Just the still thinks Jack is in the room. Didn't know disappeared, and then just followed Zhao because Zhao was running. Shell's gonna like, uh, like basically, <laughs> like grab Duster's head and like turn it to look down at uh, Jack. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna pull out a. I'm gonna pull out his golden longbow and shoot at him. <laughs> yeah? Did roll, yeah? Roll the hit, sorry. Okay. Uh, that is an. Hunter's Mark. <laughs> sorry, I'm like. Do I Hunter's Mark? Uh, 20, not Nat. That, that hits, yeah. Uh, roll for damage. Um. Don't have dueling, so it's uh, 11 damage. Uh, the longbow arrow just strikes him in the head and kills him immediately. Uh, but now you have a crowd of about five people. The, you know, the one guy, his, his, his girlish screaming has, well, stopped. But now there's a crowd of people all yelling, and you watch... <laughs> what? <laughs> There's still fire on the ground, right? This is a fire breath weapon. This is like... Uh, there's flames everywhere. The park is, is at least in the, line. the park is going up in flames, yes. Starting yeah, to. Okay, so I want to cause a distraction so the rest of the people. I can, can just pass okay. without trace. Oh, uh, but like, what's an escape without some fireworks? I can like some fire. Oh, I mean, we could do both. What's I can do and make a fun cloud. We do As... all of it at once. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure. sure. Do you want to do, do, do sync these fucking moves up? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's go time. Goodbye, Calorus, for leaving you. <laughs> That's okay. Calorus can live alone. Calorus, Calorus likes like, life like, life. This, this is fine. Live alone. I think Cal now moves. realizes something is wrong because it's been uh, so long. You're about to. Uh, what I'm doing is not quiet. All right. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Just, just a, go for it. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to cast Fog Cloud. <laughs> sent it on the fire around it. Uh, that's a 20 foot sphere of fog. Yeah. Sent it at that point. Um, just just to like let you guys escape. Yeah. That's uh, not screen basic. Uh, all right. Combining a bunch of stuff together right now, zombie. <laughs> oh, okay. Do that combo move. So I was so, like, you want to wait till we're all done? Okay. I fog like, cloud and then what? I feel like pest without a tray should be last. A shell. Seeing that, like, the ground is still lit ablaze, is pulling out three sticks of dynamite. Jesus. Oh, boy. Cal is and... walking out by this point, probably. Oh, uh, as, as Cal is walking out, Shell's throwing these three sticks of dynamite. What the fuck uh, are you doing? Like, out ten feet. In, uh, like, actually, out, out, like, fifteen feet, so, like, the fire just about ends. Are we bringing the body? Where are we going? No. Like, uh, away. Gonna... I know where to go. Where, where we going? We gotta figure out where to we're, go. We're gonna run in the opposite direction of this town. We're Cal high knows where to go. We're Cal's high to go. the direction and we're going. Literally. We're Cal high tailing it out here. everybody. There is fur, though. There's fur, what? Fur can keep me safe. Huh? The huh? guy that owns the, the shop that I made Buddy Buds. Oh, the guy that like raised his hands off and was like, "I am not before this." No, that was the shady. Guy. No, the, the, it is the also dwarf. good. It, no, it's also good though. Oh, yeah, that's shady. You guys can go to the shady. I like Ferd. We can live in the woods temporarily. There We're just no running woods away here. from people Where right now. Oh yeah, the park's very far. Where did we forage then? 
the, the forest. I'll just run with I'll just run to go to fur. What the fuck? Anyway, yeah. okay. I can... well, we are all going together. Running to where? Uh. Okay, then we're well. A... Draco Bolt is in a cave, right? Mm hmm. So there's like tunnels going places, right? Uh, the exit to the entire town is down from the park around the shop. You see where that little path that goes up from the mayor's house down and out? That's the exit of to the town. Yep, we're we don't going gotta get to that the... far away. Yeah, but we want to head to the exit. We just gotta get far enough away we can drop stuff and clean off. Yeah, so we're heading towards the exit then. Okay, so it's like the fog cloud, dynamite, and then. Pass without a trace. Pass without a trace. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Which and... does mean that we leave no tracks or traces. This is where we go. All right. And yeah, you're just all running shit. out of the exit. We're all stealthing and getting out of here. Uh, I will say you don't even have to roll for that. As you hear the explosion. You could have let us anyway. We all had a plus ten. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Right. Screw it. Let's see what numbers you would have gotten. I'm oh, sure you'd succeed. Let's invite but... nat ones into the equation. <laughs> Let's invite the nat ones in. Let's get Jace to get another <laughs> nat one on his stealth check. Um. <laughs> you know, a group tag. Hey, zombie. Mm -hmm. How does a forty sound? Thirty-eight. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got a nat twenty plus ten plus, plus ten from Charles Trace. I had a sixteen up, plus four plus ten. Sorry, you got a nat one. I got a forty, so I think that matters. How does a thirty-four sound? Check. I, th check. I, th I think these should be all individual. I think it's so poetic <laughs> if Jace is the one that fails this. What did <laughs> this you is roll? very poetic and funny. As penance. Um, I feel like, what did you roll? I feel like Dustin doesn't have to leave. Dustin can just like go behind the tree temporarily. Yeah, <laughs> but it's I rolled, fine. I rolled, a, I rolled a twenty-four. Yeah. Oh yeah, the rest of us are gone. Yeah, I rolled a 34. June, um, why the fuck are you using I Google got Dice? Because I don't have dice. Uh, roll dice. Has dice. I'm gonna roll get the open. I'm gonna Let get the bot. I'm dice. gonna get the bot one here dice. for next time because Google Let Dice roll are how June wants to roll. Incredibly Look at that bad. One. Um I mean all of us I... put one person pass. June, what is your roll? What is your roll, like not even including in that one? Because Ah, uh, that'd be a three. A th you get plus a plus a ten, ten. Plus ten. So oh, 13. Plus, I didn't I didn't know it was plus ten. Plus like, okay. Okay. So thirteen. Okay. Um June, add a plus six. Okay. And then add a D four. I mean, okay, well... <laughs> I mean, add a, add a D6 and a D4, I mean. This is... I mean, this is gonna be 20, probably. But, I, I mean, I think it succeeds. Because you have that, you have this fog cloud and the dynamite. Yeah. 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 Just I, disappears I, from the minds of everyone. 16. 16. You... Yeah. You all pass, <laughs> and you're all well just done. escaping Cal the city. helping Jace. As... I would just go behind the tree and drop it with a stealth. <laughs> It'd as be kind of funny, but you hear nah. the three explosions of the dynamite. The boom, boom! As you escape, you hear people run away. The clanking of armor, and you leave Jack's body there and run out of the I am town. Taking his coat. Uh, it, 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 I, I mean, yeah, sure, you can snag it. Yeah, why on not? The way out, <laughs> escaping the town. Uh. You all escape through the fog cloud. None of the guards seem to catch you as they're more focused on the fog cloud and the big explosion that just happened. Uh, but with that, though, it's it's been like... Uh, it, it's been a couple hours. I think I'm going to end session for here today. Oh, two hours-ish. It's two hours-ish, but... You know, considering the start of the one shot was we were wanted in this town because we fucked up the first heist, we got out of here, okay? I see this as an absolute win. Yeah, yeah you I all... see this as a small, not a small, a large a victory. I see this as a little victory. You all... I see this as a yeah, large you victory, escape the town. Uh, do we... we... killed a French guy. Do we want to raid anyone? Uh, oh. Let me try. I got no one online. Ducks. Ducks. Um, oh, I got someone on, online second. if we don't want to do ducks. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I don't really got anyone online. Alright. Yeah. I, okay. A well, person, then I'll, the person I could suggest isn't live yet, so I'll yeah. I'll raid the person that I have in my following because I just have people in my followings sometimes. Congrats. Yeah. How do I? Just nobody I'd have you raid. True. 
Alright, bye-bye, everyone. Have a good one. Goodbye, stream. Bye. You're a bitch.